He still isn't responding. We should go in. Are you sure we should bother him right now, Penny? Well, we can't just let him rot in there, can we? It's been two days. You're right. I guess not. Angel? Angel, you're still in here? There he is. Angel, you haven't moved at all. How are you doing, Boyle? Monty, he does not look good. Yeah, it looks like he's hardly moved at all since. Angel? Angel, have you eaten? Angel, have you eaten? You gotta move, Angel. You gotta eat. You're wasting away, lad. Can I bring you something to eat? Anything you want, I'll get it for you. Pizza? Uh, Carne asada fries? Oh, a big chicken sandwich. Not even a big chicken? Angel, please, say something, damn it. You're going to starve. Oh, I know. Why don't we play one of your favorite games? Good idea. Come on, Angel. We know you want to play Strip Twister. Never played it, but it sounds fun. What do you say, lad? But no cheating. You're only allowed four limbs. Yeah, we wouldn't want you to have the upper hand. <laughs> hmm. Shite. Penny, it's not working. Monty, do something. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Do what you do best. Be a himbo. All right. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures. Boy, I could sure use some attention right now. If only I had a tall, handsome porn star to help me out. And maybe I could tell you about an ancient Gaelic oral tradition. What do you say, lad? Nothing? I don't know what else to do here. Oh my. Normally he would jump at the chance to service you. He looks so... He looks so empty. He misses him. Is there anything else we can try? Anything? Oh, fat nuggets! Angel, would you like me to call Princess Maine and ask her to bring your pig? I bet he misses you. Ah, oh, I think we may have to call Molly. His twin sister? Yes, she might know how to get through to him. She also deserves to know what happened. You think the number's an Angel's phone? Let me see. Wait. What is it? Maybe we should wait a little longer. Oh, why? Well... I was thinking Molly should probably hear it from Angel. Yeah, 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 you're right. I've never met her before. Who knows how she'll react learning her brother's been erased and being told that by a total stranger. Then we will wait. If he doesn't come to in the next day, we'll call. Do you think he will, Penny? I don't know. Only time can tell. Oh, you poor lad. Let's put him to bed. Here, I'll get him. Uh-uh. Maybe we should clean him up. I don't think he's bathed or brushed his teeth since we got back. Oh, I suppose so. I never thought I would have to bathe him, but it's the least we can do. Arachnus would want this. Yes, he would. Come now, let's get these dirty clothes off him. Come on, Angel. Come on, boy, I'll sit up. I'm gonna give you a bath now, okay? There you go, lad. Sleep well, boy. It's gonna be okay. Monty, I've never seen him like this. He's just... gone! Well, if I had just lost a brother, I can't say I would act any different. I suppose you're right. Let's leave him be. You're still alive. You're still alive. Oh, that's so hard to listen to. I know. Oh, I could go for a cup of tea. Of course. I'll put the kettle on. Thanks. What do you want, Monty? Have you got Barry's Irish tea? Yes, I have all the tea. I love berries. My mother used to make it for me. In the living world. Oh, I never knew that about you. Yeah, it's been around for a long time. I don't I don't remember what year, but it's, I think it's on the box. Come to think of it, I don't know a lot of things about you. 
Sure you do. But, Monty... I don't. What did you want to know? Your birthday? Where do you live? Do you have siblings? When did you get the tattoo? Were you really featured on an episode of MTV's Cribs? How many people have you erased? How does your color palette keep changing? Anything! I don't even know your real name. If we're supposed to be together, why don't I know anything about you? You've... you've never asked. Do you know anything about me? Yeah. Yeah. Like what? Well, I, I know... I know you're a good host, and you love tea, you're... you're kind. You... you dress very well. Oh, and did I say you love tea? Is that all? No. You're fun to look at. You're very good in bed. You're a good kisser, and your dicks are huge, and you do this thing I hate, but it's worth it. Like, you really know how to use those- Monty! What? <laughs> this was a mistake. Are you okay, Penny? Um... No. Of course I'm not okay. If I had one more chance to see Nissy again, I would slap the daylights out of him. Why? He left me. You know why he did it, Penny. I know! It's not fair, though. Is it ever? We live in hell, Penny. Besides, he did it for you. I'm surprised he didn't make me stay after all the shite I pulled. That was our mistake, Monty. We're both to blame. I'm a hypocrite. I let my feelings get in the way of rational thought. Yeah, I guess we both did. He knew what he was going to do, and that made his decision easier to make. You're probably not wrong. He knew. He knew. Penny? He fucking knew! He knew exactly what was going to happen from the very beginning. Jesus. <laughs> He knew what he was going to do from the moment he knew there was a weight limit on the elevator. He would have done the same with any of us. Perhaps even you, Monty. I don't... I don't doubt that. If I had drawn the short straw, he would not have allowed me to stay. It would have been you or him. I've already died for you once, and I would do it again. So you're not wrong. What was he thinking? Did he expect us to be better off without him? Did he just want me to get back with you and everything would just go back to normal? It could go back to normal. No, things don't feel normal. They don't feel right without him. <laughs> I needed him here. With me. <laughs> he wanted you to be happy. Well, I'm not happy. That fucking idiot left me. He died a noble death, Penny. At least give him credit for that. That wasn't noble. It was selfish. Penny, I know it hurts, but you can't undo what's been done. Shut up. My boyfriend is dead. And it's your f- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I understand. No tea tonight. I need to rest. I need to sleep. Okay. Let me take you to bed. No, just... Just stay away from me. Okay. Okay. I'll just sleep on the couch tonight then. I, um... Uh, I love you, Penny. Oh, hello, couch. Guess it's you and me tonight. Oh, Rackness. They really cared about you, huh, boy? -o? Wherever you are, lad, I'm sure it's a better place. Oh. It's not so bad. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> kind of like... Kind of like a movie. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's so bright. What? What happened? Where am I? Well, hey there, little bro. I'm Gavin. Welcome to heaven. Heaven? <laughs>